Hi, I'm Kaylin McNeil, founder of Big Will Burger. I'm not only going to tell you how to survive a pandemic, I'm going to suggest ways that you can thrive in a pandemic. When we opened Big Will Burger, one of our first ideas was that we'd become a triple bottom line company. So we put our staff, our community, and the environment first. We decided to become carbon neutral. The next step we did it was invest in our staff, provide them benefits. And then from there, we opened a foundation. Any type of community work we do, we run through our foundation. So strong triple bottom line business, and it's really proven well in COVID. Well, the first thing I do is just find out what my employees' interests are. I'm more curious about what they're doing outside of work. Like, what's going to be their interests? Like, where do they want to go? We're mostly an entry-level job, but if you view yourself as an entry-level company, you're always going to be attracting entry-level people. I believe that if we participate with our staff, show our community that we value them, we can actually build a business that could be a career for them. I don't want them thinking that they can't work in a restaurant for, to make a living. It's really evident in times of COVID um, that philosophy pays dividends. Transparency is super key. It's key in business. I can't be in business if, I, if my staff isn't you know, working hard and we all aren't on the same page. The only way I can get them on the same page is by being transparent, sharing my goals with them, sharing the ideas I have with them. So I think that was a key um, factor during COVID. My first reaction when the pandemic hit, when I was just about to open a store, was I was finished. Our bank manager called me. He called me before I even called him. He asked me, what could he do for me? And that to me is what a true partnership is. It's not being there when you're successful, it's being there when, when there could be challenges. My staff, my, my partners, uh, my managers, without all of them working together, we're gonna be in deep trouble. Many restaurants rely on delivery food app services. I thought, well, why not? Why not just do our own delivery service? That in, it, in itself, in the time, provided a lot of extra revenue for ourselves. It provided uh, jobs for people that we wouldn't have otherwise brought back. Um, and it was a really good way to just see if we could do it ourselves.